Ambassador of Manipal, an interdisciplinary team of 50 undergraduate students from Manipal Academy of Higher Education and we are proud to present our rover Nakshatra for the European Rover Challenge 2025. The team is structured into three divisions headed by the team lead, namely Robotics, Research and Management. The Robotics division is led by the technical head and consists of specialized subsystems each managed by a subsystem head. The Electronics and Control subsystem develops and implements the power distribution, data architecture and control systems while also managing all rover communications. The Mechanical Design and Manufacturing subsystem is responsible for designing and fabricating all the rover modules which consist of the Drive System, Science Module and Robotic Manipulator. It utilizes techniques like rapid prototyping, topology optimization and simulation based design to develop these modules. The Life Science subsystem studies geological samples and environmental conditions using chemical analysis and sensor-based methods to assess potential habitability. The AI and Automation subsystem is responsible for the rover's autonomy through path planning, mapping and developing machine learning models for image processing and object detection. The Drone subsystem focuses on frame architecture, autonomous control and sensor integration to ensure efficient and reliable performance. The Research division led by the Research Head explores innovative concepts in electronics and AI contributing to academic publications and conference presentations. The management division headed by the team manager coordinates outreach, social media presence, sponsorships, logistics and finances. The tasks set by ERC have pushed us to think creatively to meet its mission requirements. This year we have designed a new robotic manipulator, a science module and a modular PCB stack. ERC offers an international platform to showcase our engineering skills and innovative solutions through competitive challenges. It also offers us a unique platform to learn from other teams, gain industry-level exposure, and connect with professionals across the global space and robotics community. Our rover demonstrates strong mobility moving forward, backward, and turning using a differential drive system that controls direction by varying the speed and rotation of the left and right wheels. The drive system uses a PID controller for hill assist, leveraging real-time IMU data to maintain stability on slopes. An accessible kill switch is employed for emergency shutdown. The rover's custom PCB stack has been iteratively designed for modularity and robustness. The stack has been divided into three primary boards, each serving specific functions, supporting seamless upgrades without requiring a full redesign. The rover is powered by 24-volt LiPo batteries managed by the power distribution board, which isolates one battery for sensitive electronics. It steps down voltage using buck converters while fuses and protection ICs safeguard each output. Central to the design, the motherboard serves as the base for the child boards, mounted vertically using D-sub connectors, ensuring secure connections. The controller child boards host ESP32s and a Raspberry Pi, which manage control inputs, drive motor outputs, and process sensor feedback. Meanwhile, the communications board connects all systems to the transceiver and our onboard compute unit. Alongside the motherboard, the motor driver board houses the motor drivers while isolating the high power lines from sensitive signal traces. For real-time monitoring and diagnostics, current sensors are placed at every output. Video data from eight analog cameras encoded using a custom encoder along with telemetry data are transmitted over a single RF link. The rover is controlled through a custom-built UI that captures user input and converts them into a compact data string. To optimize bandwidth usage, the system uses delta encoding, sending only changes in input rather than a full data frame. Our communication system uses Metal 52 AC transceivers with 9 dB antennas operating on switchable 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. It features frequency hopping and adaptive modulation to enhance signal reliability, achieving up to 2 km range in line of sight and 1 km non line of sight conditions. A LoRa backup ensures low bandwidth control and telemetry up to 2 km line of sight. To tackle challenges during traversal, the rover is equipped with a custom 5-bar suspension which provides a large wheelbase. Adjustable torsion springs with variable mechanical stops provide optimal ground conformability, enabling the rover to traverse a wide range of terrains. A 3D printed wheel consisting of a rigid PLA barrel along with a flexible TPU tire is designed to increase traction and compliance. A full float bearing assembly is incorporated to improve serviceability while transferring minimal load to the motor shaft. An aluminium tubular space frame chassis serves as a mount for auxiliary rover modules. Additionally, a larger chassis with sheet metal cladding is also being built with modular front and rear sections designed to mount the robotic manipulator and the deep sampling module. The 6 degrees of freedom robotic manipulator uses two coaxial worm gear drives for pitch in both the links and another worm drive at the base for swivel. Its end effector is a single action parallel gripper paired with a bevel differential. Additionally, a new robotic manipulator based on the 4-bar mechanism is being manufactured with an increased reach of 1.3 meters. It is actuated by cycloidal gearboxes and equipped with a modular end effector, offering design flexibility. For surface sampling, the robotic manipulator is equipped with a clam bucket gripper which deposits samples in the cache containers as well as a Geneva cam turret for chemical testing. The deep sampling module includes a 30cm sheeted auger which is lowered by two leech screw driven gantries. 
The sheet guides the soil upwards to a separate cache on the auger for storing the sample. For autonomous traversal of the rover, ROS2 is used as the primary framework integrating data from all onboard sensors. The Jetson Super Nano serves as a central computing unit. It sends mode information to the ESP32 microcontroller, which controls an LED panel that turns red in autonomous mode and blue when the rover is teleoperated. Stereo visual odometry, IMU data, and differential GPS readings are combined through the Z SDK for localization. Our tab map uses odometry and Z2I depth images to create a 3D map classifying points as obstacles based on slope. To improve localization, we use a dual stage Aruco tag detection system. YOLO V8 handles long range detection up to 20 meters, while OpenCV's Aruco library provides precise ID and pose estimation at closer distances. Our rover uses NAV2 for path planning. The SMAC planner generates global paths based on a hybrid A star algorithm. Read Shep curve have been added to allow smooth reversals, making it easier to navigate in tight spaces. For local planning, we use the NAV2 DWB controller. It dynamically adjusts the rover's velocity to follow the global path while avoiding obstacles using local cost maps. For RM automation, MoveIt2 handles motion planning with joint trajectories sent to an ESP32. Encoder and IMU feedback is used to generate PWM signals for joint control using a PID controller. By using our custom source pattern algorithm, Aruco tags are scanned with the OpenCV library and precisely located using dynamic transforms. Using the markers as reference, a path is generated to the target location. After each task, the RM returns to a predefined home position. For the science task, we have developed a systemic approach using a science module in order to analyze and collect samples and showcase our knowledge of astrobiology. The target region is located within the deep canyons of Valles Marineris, with a primary focus on Candor Chasma. This area exhibits a diverse range of geological features including layered sedimentary deposits, sand dunes, scarps and mesas, indicating a complex geological history. Remote sensing data and mapping tools such as JMARS and HiRISE together reveal a substantial presence of hydrated sulfates along with ferric and basaltic minerals. During the upcoming scientific exploration mission, our objective is to validate our falsifiable hypotheses through visual reconnaissance and analysis performed by our onboard science laboratory. After extensive testing, the laboratory has been equipped with chemical assays capable of detecting organic carbon, proteins and carbonates. A custom fluorometer is present on board for the detection of DNA and RNA. Additionally, a dual pH testing system consisting of a sensor and a test has been implemented to improve measurement accuracy and overcome the limitations of single sensor analysis. For the drone subtask, we are using an H743 based flight controller which is used for position estimation and PID control. The drone features a quad rotor setup with precise thrust vector control via four BLDC motors managed by 4 in 165 amp PSCs. The setup enables stable takeoff, controlled omnidirectional flight including ascent, descent, lateral flight, longitudinal flight and smooth landing. An integrated auto land safety feature triggered by low battery voltage or loss of communication signal ensures safe and controlled descent. Built with a carbon fiber HX frame and 3D printed parts for strength and efficiency, the drone runs on a custom battery pack with a capacity of 16,800 mAh offering up to 40 minutes of flight. MATLAB Simulink is used to develop an Aruco tag search and follow algorithm. The onboard Jetson runs a YOLO model for probe detection and the Intel RealSense camera provides depth data for probe position estimation. Drone uses ELRS 2.4 GHz with Radio Master Boxer DX16 for low latency control, CADX VRX 5.8 GHz for HD video and RFD868 for long range telemetry and RTK positioning. The rover is equipped with a robotic manipulator capable of executing maintenance tasks with precision. It can toggle switches, rotate dials, insert plugs, and activate power switches, demonstrating a high degree of dexterity and task-specific functionality. The subsurface sampling module features a clamp bucket gripper to collect rocks and soil samples. A pressure sensor is incorporated at the bottom of each storage cache, which provides real-time weight measurements of the sample. Deeper soil samples are extracted using a sheath dogger, which is stored in an attached cache container. Over the years, we have proudly represented India in multiple international competitions. This year marks an exciting milestone as we participate in the on-site ERC for the first time. We are excited to be part of this global community of space robotic enthusiasts. See you at the European Rover Challenge 2025.